This is Regis Progress and you're tuning into Team School Sports. It's personal between me and you and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Um, so I'm not going to joke around and say Zudo exposed by Bivol because this is a very serious story. Um, I was literally sitting here, you guys, I, I don't know, like right now, hold on, I'll show you. I was literally just wrapping up my night. I was, I was sitting here, I'm, I'm watching the Florida Panthers game, you know, before I go to bed. And I get the news, I see the news here on Twitter that a dose, your bossy Nuli, the the Kazakhstan fighter that fought David Morell Jr. just last night. He um, it appears that he has gone into a coma, and it has uh, been labeled a, as a subdural hematoma, serious brain injury, and this injury uh, is going to keep him in critical condition. So. Uh, this is not a game. Boxing is not a game. It's cliche, but it's true. You can play basketball, you can play hockey, you can play baseball, but you cannot play boxing. You cannot play this sport. And um, my prayers go out to Eidos Yubasinuli, who, you know, I don't think truthfully should have been in the ring. Like, he shouldn't have been in the boxing ring um, as, long, as long as he was. Um, the referee should have stopped the fight a long time ago. He was he was suffering a lot of punishment, and he took a severe beating. And I thought watching it live on TV that it was just too much, and the referee and the commission did a very bad job. I mean, for Christ's sakes, the guy nearly fell over, and they didn't know how to catch him mid-fall and walk him back to his corner. Where was the commission? Why wasn't the ref more responsible? Like, this is like boxing... I, I could go into the whole spiel about how boxing's got to do better and how boxing's got to look out for the fighters more. But we've been, we've been on this road many times here on True School Sports from, you know, like Maxime Dadashev to Patrick Day and guys like that. Um, so I'm not going to really bore you guys with that whole speech, but uh, I just, I just want to give you guys that news. Um, Edo Shibasinuli is in the hospital. Um, this just came out within the last hour or so, um, and this is not good news, you know. Um, whether you like a fighter or don't like a fighter, you never want to hear about a fighter being in a coma. You never want to hear about a fighter's life being in danger because ultimately uh, these fighters, just like all of us, are people. They have families. They have kids. They have a mother. They have a father, and and th this, is what bo this is the dark side of boxing. This is where you can become a casualty of this sport. And that's why, as boxing fans, irrespective of what we think about a fighter, his abilities, or lack thereof, we shouldn't be so quick to talk down on them or, 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 or anything like that. So, uh, yeah. Um, speed recovery to Eidos Yabashinuli. I will definitely be keep, keeping him in my prayers and my thoughts. And um, I'm sure most of the boxing community will be doing that as well. So, uh, yeah. That's, that's the news. Um, I'm not going to make any jokes or anything like that. Um, yeah, take care. Uh, just like uh, uh, Mayweather's uncle would say, a lot of people don't know shit about boxing. Um, you know, um, you you do. You've done Thank it. Thank you. You about the only smart guy that I know, bro. Nobody knows shit about boxing. I appreciate it, man. I'm going to say, man, make sure to follow True School Sports, always covering boxing at the highest level, man, and make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Follow him on Instagram at Just a Kid from Danny as well. Ooh, he, he the plug.